I am literally super excited. In today's video, I just want to share with you something that I have learnt. Most of you may already have heard of ChatGPT. Most of you may haven't, but I have just been made aware of this incredible AI and it is a game changer. If you don't know what it is, you need to go check it out. So what I want to share with you is right now I am inside of Unity and we're going to use chat GTP, GPT to help us out with the scripts. Yes, you heard that right. The AI can write scripts for us and it is really, really good. So I'll show you the script first. This is the conversation you basically have with it. Like talking to a real person. So you just tell it what you want, basically. So I'll just briefly go through it. Try and go. I want it to be like a quick video. But I will do a more in-depth video on this later on. But back to work tonight, so I'll probably do it tomorrow. Um. So, just for example, but after the trigger audio stops, how can we replay the level audio? I have another audio source that plays on wake of the level. When I enter the trigger, I want the audio to stop playing before it plays the trigger audio. This was my question. So then he's like, you can use... Well, and then basically it creates the code. He's like, right, okay. Here's the updated code for what you've just asked for. So then my question was like, well, after the trigger audio stops, I want to replay the audio. Um, but then I got an error on the script. So I literally just copied and pasted the error message. And then it just comes with the solution. This error occurs because the audio source component is not attached to the trigger event. I could not believe it. So it just told me what to do. Okay, so we're going to jump back into Unity and just demonstrate what it is I have learned. So all it is, is just some basic trigger events. Um, but the script itself is C sharp. So this is the script. Because with the AI, you copy the code and then put it into Visual Studio. Just save it. But like I said, it's not going to be a tutorial. I'm not going to tell you how to like create scripts and stuff. So then what I have done is just created a trigger box here. So when the player walks into this trigger, I'm going to trigger in some events. And the events, all they're going to be is when I play the game, we've got a level audio. It's just going to play some music in the background. But then when we enter the trigger, the level audio is going to stop playing and then it's going to play another sound that we have. And I do believe I have a cube here as well that should show up. It might not, but if it doesn't, I'll, have to, I'll try and fix that in the script. So yeah, all I'm going to show is just basic trigger event with some audio. It works and is so good. Right, let's go. But then wait for it. When that trigger stops, it's going to replay the level music. How amazing is that? If you know, you know. Are you game developers out there or amateur game developers? If you're just learning like me, you would be, you would blow your own mind. As soon as you learn how to just do something as simple as that. We could even trigger it again. Maybe we could set it so it just triggers once. 
Um, so it didn't spawn the cube that we have here. You're going to have to bear with me. My right mouse button doesn't work. So it's a struggle to navigate around. So here is our cube. We've got it invisible. But there it is. So what I'm going to showcase now is when we go through the trigger again, it's basically going to mimic like a jump scare. I know, pathetic, right? It's going to be a scary cube. But it's just for demonstration purposes. Right, so what we actually need to do is go back into our trigger event script. We need to... put it in a public game object. This is going to be... Um, Spawn cube, maybe? Spawn cube. I think that's correct. So this is actually going to be tricky now. Where does it actually go in the code? Let's go back to chat GPT. to an older script where we had trigger object dot set active trigger object so that's correct so it's gonna go in wait I need to do this like side by side private void void on trigger enter I think it's going to be in here. Trigger source dot play. Right, we're going to put it here. So the code being spawn cube dot set active. Nope. Wait, this is not dot set. I don't think this is correct. Now, is it lowercase for true? True. It's not going to like this, is it? Do we put a colon in there? We'll soon find out. I'm going to save that. Now, Unity is probably going to hate me now. I get a lot of errors. Oh, we got none. That's a good sign. But what we now need to do is go back to our cube. Now they should have. Uh, here we go. Spawn cube is now a game object. So we now need to put that cube into there as a reference. So when I showed you, it was disabled. So when we go into that trigger, it's going to set it active. So we need to make sure that is inactive when we play the level. And wait a minute, I probably just messed it up now. Yep. Just be aware of that. Just a, a quick tip as well. If you're ever making any modifications to your level, make sure you've you stopped playing it because now I've got to re... Uh, luckily, I mean, I've only just started the game, so... But I now have to reapply the cube. Um, and that's it. But you, I don't want you to go and do a lot of changes and then think, oh no, I forgot to like disable the game. Right, so technically now we will have our cube set to active when we go through our trigger. Let's test it out. Oh my god, I just love it. And the cube, like, scared me. Cue music. I absolutely just love it. 
Um, this is just for, I'm just learning. But like I said, I just learned this from ChatGTP. You've got to get on it. He is incredible. No, I'm not. Sorry, rephrase that. It is incredible. Sorry, my mistake. But you can literally ask anything. So I, earlier on, I said, do you have any tips on what else I can do with this kind of trigger event? And look, it gave me 10 different, like, examples. Change the lighting or weather conditions. Play a sound effect. Create an enemy. Display a message. Teleport a player. Change the behavior of other objects. Activate a puzzle or minigame. Create a new quest. Spawn a vehicle. Change the time of day or season in the game world. It's unbelievable. This is the future right here. Um, before I end the video, I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. Just going to go back to trigger event and see if we can just change the length of time. Maybe not. I think it's due to the actual audio file itself. But I don't want it to wait so long. Yeah. Level audio stop. Wait for trigger audio. Wait for seconds dot length. Uh, start coroutine. Line enumerator. Yield return new wait for seconds. I don't know. I can't. I don't know how to do that. We'll leave that for now. Um, wait. Shall we see if we can get it to turn off the light? Whoa, not like that, though. Directional light. Still going to be pretty light, but it's just going to. Okay, we're going to get it to turn off the directional light. Um, let's see if I can actually do this myself without asking chat GPT. That was kind of the main purpose of this video though, to showcase chat GTP, but this is also, this also could prove my knowledge and skills. So it's a public, it's a game object. So we're going to go back to a script and then we're just going to Type the code here, public game object. I'm gonna call this uh <laughs> big light. Okay. So spawn cube active. So basically now, all we do is just say big light dot set active. And because it's already active, we now want this to be false. I'm going to be so impressed with myself if this now works, but that's technically right. I want to make it really scary now. I want it want the trigger to play the music, spawn the scary cube, and turn off the light. Turn off the big light. Let's go. Oh, the very oh, I didn't assign it. My bad. So go back to trigger event. Now we have big light game object. Put in the directional light there. Now we should be good to go. It turned off the light. Ah, scary cube. Run away. Now what would be even more cool is how do we get the big light to come back on? Gonna copy that. So 
wait for audio then when's it gonna it's gonna play the new one here so basically i think it's gonna go in here and then we want to change this to true let's see if that works just have to compile the script Ah, oh, wait. If this works, then I can do it for the cube as well to disappear. Set back to false. Yes! It worked! Oops. It worked, but I accidentally set off the trigger a second time. Um, oh my god, this is awesome. Right, so we want the spawn cube to also... Go back to false. Disappear. It's unbelievable. I love it. And in case you didn't know, this is actually um, C sharp. The coding, lamp, the programming language. And I actually understand it. It's crazy. At first, you'd be like, what does that mean? But this is just like basic code and... It really helps you to understand it. Okay, final run. Then the light's gonna come on, the cube's gonna disappear. Wow. Then we're going to jump off the platform to celebrate. Oh, wait. <laughs> I honestly thought we were floating. <laughs> it's just the ground. Wow. Okay, that is all I wanted to show and share with you. And if you are new to the channel, that is basically what the nature of my YouTube channel. Whatever I learn, I like to share. So today's video, this is what I've learned. Just a basic trigger within Unity. All with the help of chat GPT. You really need to get in on it. It could do anything. Uh, write songs, YouTube, SEO. Well, I've just started to learn it really. So up to now, I've asked it to do a lot of things and I've been blown away with the results. Really, like, for example, what I've just shown you now. He's done this for me. I keep saying he, it. Sorry. Just absolutely incredible. Okay, I'm going to go now, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Let me know if you have given this a try yourself. It doesn't have to be for Unity. It could be for anything. But let me tell you now, this will improve your productivity. I already feel like my productivity has just increased by like a hundred percent with this thing i'm constantly asking the ai like what it can do asking it what can i do but there just seems to be no limits right right now whatever i've thrown at it it's given me a result that i've been happy with so yeah i'll leave a link in the description i'll take you to the website it is free by the way so go and try it out but in the meantime, don't forget to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want to stick around and see more of my content. Would really appreciate that. But until then, enjoy the rest of your day, week, the weekend. Take care. See ya.